Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com and today we're going to talk about again a central very important topic with fractions absolutely critical for you to master and that is called simplifying fractions how to make them simpler uh, so what we're going to do is show you how fractions can be changed from sort of a complicated form to a simple form and I think I'll tie it in with the previous lesson and show you that this is really not that different than what we did before where we were just renaming fractions and, and showing how a fractions can be equivalent. So many times in problems when you're adding or subtracting fractions in the, in the future, then what you will get as a result will not be as simple as it could be. And in math you like to keep things as simple as you can. So a lot of times what we're going to do is do our operation, get our answer, and then we're going to take that answer and make it as simple as we can. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute, but just keep that in the back of your mind. We're just trying to make these fractions look a little bit better. And I've already showed you that two different fractions can look completely different, but actually represent the same thing. We told you that, we talked about that, um, and so what we're doing now is trying to take these fractions and make them look a little bit simpler, but even though they might represent the same thing. All right, so let's just uh, dive right into it. Um, what if we have four eighths? Four eighths. And I'd like to uh, make this fraction as simple as I can. So I'm going to rewrite this guy again. Now, one crucial thing I need to mention to you is to remind you that in the previous sections, we said that you can multiply a fraction by anything you want as long as you multiply the top and also the bottom at the same time. Said that many, many times. We did lots of examples. All right, now here's the other half of that. You can also divide a fraction by anything you want as long as you divide the top and the bottom at the same time. So again, it's, it's like that balanced seesaw that we talked about, that teeter-totter, right? You can do anything you want as far as multiplying and dividing a fraction as long as you do it to the top and the bottom. We already talked about the multiplying part. Now I'm just telling you that division, you can divide the top and the bottom by the same number as well. And it continues to keep the fraction balanced. So in this case, is there a number that I can divide the top and also the bottom of this fraction by that will make it divide evenly? And the, and the answer is yes, 4 and 8. It looks like I can divide the top by 4, but if I do that, I kind of also need to divide the bottom by 4. When I do it like this, as long as I do it to the top and the bottom, then it doesn't really change what fraction I have. It just changes the way it looks. So when you look at this, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I have 1 half. So this is what you would call a simplified fraction. So what you do is you look at your answer and you ask yourself again, is there a number that I can divide into the top and the bottom other than the number 1 that will make this any simpler? And the answer is no, I can't divide anything else into the top and the bottom of this fraction other than the number 1 uh, because in, nothing else will make it simpler. If I divide by 1, I'm just going to get 1 half again. That doesn't make it simpler. I need to, to be able to divide it by something other than 1. And in this case, I can't. So it's done. This is what you call simplest terms. So you might say, you might see on a uh, test, Put the fraction in simplest terms. You might also uh, see something like simplify the fraction. So we call this a simplified fraction. You might also see it called lowest terms. It's important to understand that all three of these terms